Morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm in the process of creating a few good business vlogs for aspiring salon owners and aspiring boutique owners. So this vlog is gonna be about sourcing salon equipment. Yeah. <laughs> $2,000. So you guys, I just about had a heart attack in there. This baseline model chair, not even with a custom color, $984. Please, somebody explain to me why you would pay $984 for this base level chair. I can't. All right, you guys. So I ended up breaking up this um, video into two parts because I kind of got stuck yesterday and I ended up making a lot of phone calls that I didn't film. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do if you're planning on opening a salon is research the top distributors and start following them right now and subscribe to their email notifications. That way, over the next year, you can see when they run sales. And when so for instance, Sally's Beauty Supply is um, a sister company with Cosmoprof. So they have a lot of the same products at a better price. And I realized that I've been following them for about a year. So I know that around Thanksgiving, I don't know if you can see this, so around Thanksgiving, they run a 15% off promotion on equipment. That would be for Black Friday. So if you can wait till around that time, it might be worth it to wait. But also they run a lot of other promotions that are say 25% off, but you can look and there's an exclusion. So that's definitely something that you wanna be wary of, um, the fine print. A lot of times there is an exclusion that um, includes equipment because it is so heavy and expensive to sell. So we'll say free shipping on orders of $75 and then you'll get all hyped up and you'll put all these things in your basket and then you'll read the fine print and it will be excluding equipment. And Minerva Beauty is a good example of that. In fact, I called them yesterday, ridiculously expensive. It was like $800 just to ship. So number one, you're gonna wanna subscribe to the newsletters of the top five suppliers and those would be you want to subscribe to Standish Salon Goods, Minerva, um, Salon, Spawn Equipment, Salon Guys, and Sally's Beauty Supply. I would skip Cosmoprof and Salon Centric altogether. Number two, know that you can get usually about a 10% or 15% discount if you buy in bulk and that would be like four chairs and two shampoo bowls and that's kind of the same amount that they run for promotion so don't be fooled by so you'll want to write down the style numbers of everything that you want i don't know if you can see this that was for minerva and then you can call and see what type of discount you can get on a bulk order for me that was about 10 or 15 percent but their jump off prices were too high to begin with so just to give you an example um, a backwash station was about $700, chairs were about $270, and shipping was $822. So that is a no. If the base price is high and the shipping price is high, no. So if you are looking for baseline models for say shampoo shuttles, salon guys, ah, oh, damn it. Let's try this again. Okay, so if you are looking for baseline, like I said, salon guys sells two for about $1,000. Um, they're reputable. And there's free shipping, so that's kind of something that you might want to consider. Now for me, in the aesthetic that I was going for, I was actually looking more for a shuttle that looked like this. The problem is those run about $700 with two or $300 shipping, and that would be in my whole budget. And I know that we talked about budget before and it is incredibly important to stick to it or to come within a couple hundred dollars of it. My um, budget was $1,000 for shampoo shuttles. I'm gonna link the one that I got right here and I only went over budget with shipping about $100. So yeah, I exceeded my budget by about $150 but I saved $150 on my end table so it was a wash. So I'm still where I need to be and that is very important if you wanna have a successful business. I'm not gonna tell you where I got it from because you need to do that research, but it's possible. Our last and fourth tip is to look on Amazon for your suppliers, because you will sometimes find them like Standish Salon Goods is a good example of this. Let me show you. This is their shop. 
Now, the reason that this is so important is if you are a Prime member, you are gonna get free shipping through Amazon and the same products that you would pay hundreds of dollars on shipping through the direct website. So it's a no brainer, um, especially for salon chairs. Thank you for joining me. I hope that this video saves you a lot of time and money when you're searching for your valuable salon equipment. Um, I guess the best lesson I learned is that you want to select it from different distributors, not all in one place. One other thing to know is I would stay away from eBay. Um, and just really be careful when you're buying on Amazon that you're looking at user reviews because some of that stuff is garbage. One other helpful important tip is before you buy anything from these companies, make sure you call and speak to a representative. Number one, so you make sure you're getting the best deal, plus they'll send you an invoice. And number two, to make sure that their reps are friendly and attentive. I had kind of a questionable experience with one of the reps from Minerva Beauty yesterday, and um, I'm not saying that all their customer service reps suck, but it definitely made me less likely to order from them. I won't get into it, but anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys. So that's it for me today. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, comment below if you want to chime in, and I will catch you guys at my next video. Thanks for joining me. Bye.